Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today has been a great day for me. I finally finished all my paperwork and I went to see my exchange coordinator and gave her the papers and now I am officially nominated as an exchange student in Hong Kong. So that is very cool. So for the past week, I have done a lot of research, like many hours of research. I have looked up some articles, I have um, watched so many YouTube channels, trying to find inspiration for my own channel and try to find some cool things I could also do in my channel. And well, the first thing, I bought a tripod, which is basically like a holder or a stand for your phone. So I don't have to keep holding my phone in my hand, you know, this is not that comfortable. So hopefully that will arrive soon and my next video is going to be more stable. <laughs> and one last thing, I did an intro for my channel. It took like six hours to make, I am not even kidding. I've watched it so many times that it's become now annoying and my ears are hurting every time I hear the song. But... Let's do this. I am gonna roll the intro and then let's start today's video. Wow, did you see that intro? Amazing. Okay, so in this video, we are going to compare Helsinki and Hong Kong. And all these facts are from super random websites so if i say something that is not correct i am sorry and um would be cool if you could correct me in the comments okay let's start number one the population of helsinki is 650,000 people and the population of hong kong is 7.5 million people number two now i found this from a random website and it said that Helsinki is actually cheaper by 22% and I am having a hard time believing this but you know if it's on the internet it must be true right? 3. In Helsinki there are two metro lines and on average 300,000 people use it every day. In Hong Kong there are 11 different metro lines and about 6.4 million people use it every day and that is insane that's insane that's crazy that's insane four this is probably the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word hong kong and i did some research there isn't actually an official height for a skyscraper but it's usually something that is over 100 meters or 130 meters. With this information, I can probably say that Helsinki has two skyscrapers and in Hong Kong, there are over 4,000 skyscrapers. Number five. This is interesting for us Finns because we love talking about the weather. So the coldest month of Helsinki is February and the lowest average temperature is minus 7. In Hong Kong, it is also February, but the temperature is 16 degrees, which is basically summer for us. I've been filming for so long that it's officially nighttime in Helsinki. I did not know about this, but apparently the symbol of Helsinki is a squirrel. God, that is an awful word, a squirrel. Did I say correctly? Squirrel. Squirrel? What? Then I wanted to know which animal represents Hong Kong and it is a pink dolphin, which I've also never heard of. The original plan was to do 10 facts, but I am getting so tired, so I'm gonna stop at 7. So, number 7. How many tourists did each city have in the year of 2019 since 2020 was shit? Hong Kong had almost 56 million tourists and Helsinki 1.24 million. Okay guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching and let me know what you thought about the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.